Hello everybody, Jason here. It's Monday the 15th of August. Today is the last full day that we're going to spend in, um, in the Isle of Wight. And I guess the last full day in some ways we're going to spend in England. We're going to be going to the airport tomorrow. But we're travelling up there tonight. So I guess we'll be here tomorrow as well, officially. But it's been a great trip. I just want to say thank you very much to everybody. Both sets of parents who've really looked after us. We've had a great time in both places. And then we're moving on to the next stage of our journey tomorrow. Going to Denmark for another two and a half weeks. Um, today I've just done my first run after I've finished my exercise programme. So you can see I'm a bit sweaty again this morning. Um, but it's a beautiful day. I just had to take a little bit of footage. It's kind of hard to see in that background because the sun is so bright. But uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely lovely. So. We're going to go and have our seafood lunch today, me and Kirsty, our annual kind of trip. And then we're going to just sort of enjoy the day and then uh, it'll be see you later England and uh, until next year. Cool. Hello everybody, Jason here and it's Tuesday the 16th of August and we're at Ride St John Station. We're just about to, uh, well not just about, in about half an hour we're going to get on a train to go to Ride Pier. Uh, where we're going to get a ferry to go across the Solent and uh, onward towards Stansted. We're gonna wait overnight in a hotel tonight until we fly to Denmark tomorrow, at, I think three o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. Um, I'm just gonna show you what the weather's like today because it's there's been a little bit of a change. So for the first time in a long time, I think it's about 40, 50 days or something, it hasn't rained on the island, and today it's raining. Uh, it's not exactly the best photograph because it's the inside of the station. There's no one else here at the moment just us. Rosie's popped back to the house to go and collect something that she left, I think a phone cable. There's Kirsty and Maisie and Boots is somewhere waving. So yeah, so we're just waiting. There's no one else here. One train's already been to go in the other direction towards Shanklin. And these, I think these trains are old tube trains from London. I think that's what they use here, electric trains. I don't know if you can see one over there. It's one of the new ones. New, brand brand new, new second hand. Well, can you see the rain? I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, it's not the glorious weather that it has been for the last few weeks. But uh, that's alright because we're travelling. Uh, not so good for everyone else. And very good for Isla White, good for the grass and the plants and everything. Because there's no hose pipe binding operation here in England. Or in this part of England. Just approaching the pier head, and I just thought I'd get a show of how, how the tide is out. Way out, we've still got big tides, even though we're not quite on the spring anymore. Way, we're on our way to Portsmouth on the fast cat and it's so flat I just had to get a little footage you see another ferry there in the distance so flat so we're here at London Waterloo we managed to catch an earlier ferry we caught an earlier train from Portsmouth to London and um, that was all good so here we are in Waterloo about half past 12 ahead of schedule um, and now we've got to get across from Waterloo to Liverpool Street on the tube and then we can be in the hotel, relaxing for the evening. So here we are, busy Liverpool station, Liverpool Street, should I say. We've got a little bit to wait, another 15 minutes or so. I think this is our train just arrived. See whether or not it's this platform, two or three, I think. 